Hey everyone, this is Michael again and welcome to another movie review. And if you saw my previous video, which was the vlog, uh, I said I was going to review uh, these two movies. Uh, one movie that uh, I might possibly see, maybe, maybe not. But uh, today's movie that I'm going to review is Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief. And it stars Logan Lerman. Uh, Brandon T. Jackson, Alexandra Daddario, Jake Abel, Pierce Bronson, uh, Rosario Dawson, uh, Uma Thurman, and Kevin McKidd. And this movie was directed by Chris Columbus, and he's directed a lot of great movies. He directed the first two Home Alone films, uh, Mrs. Doubtfire, and uh, the first two. Uh, Harry Potter films, which I don't care for uh, the Harry Potter trilogy. I don't care for those films. I saw a second, saw a second movie in the theater, and just didn't care for it. And he also uh, directed uh, *Bicentennial Man*, which I really uh, liked the first time I saw it. I haven't seen it in a while, but it would be great to uh, watch and revisit it again. But uh, this is based on the uh, the book *The Lightning Thief*. And uh, the title is it's called it's called Percy Jackson and the Olympians the Lightning Thief, but some uh, f call it for short uh, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. Uh, but I watched this movie uh, when I got the Blu-ray, and I enjoyed it for what it was. Uh, I never read the books, so I just enjoyed the movie, like I said, for what it was. Uh, had fun with it, and uh, rewatched it uh, again today. Just finished uh, rewatching it, and I still enjoy the movie. Uh, I mean, it's not great, it's not perfect, but it's like I said, it's just a fun movie. It's I know a lot of people don't like this movie because it didn't follow the book, and got a lot of people disappointed. I mean, it does have some pro. The movie does have problems, but. You know, I still enjoyed it for what it was. But the movie is basically about uh, Percy Jackson, played by Logan Lerman. He's a 16-year-old uh, teenager, and he's dyslexic. And he learns that he is a demigod. And in this case, his father is Poseidon, uh, who is played by Kevin McKidd, uh, who is the god of all seas. And uh, this other god Zeus uh, played by Sean Bean uh, this happens at the beginning of the movie uh, Zeus uh, Sean Bean's character comes down and tells uh, Poseidon uh, that his lightning bolt is missing and uh, Zeus blames it on Percy and so Zeus wants uh, the lightning bolt back and if he doesn't get it back then him and uh, Poseidon are going to war and so Percy goes to this camp called Camp Half-Blood uh, with his best friend Grover Underwood played by Brandon T. Jackson uh, which he is my favorite character in the movie uh, Grover he's just really uh, you know a great character very funny uh, he's also a, a uh, I forgot what it's called I forgot what he's called he's called a uh, a sat a satyr, uh, which is a uh, you know a goat. You know he has goat legs and uh, that's pretty much it. And you know he gets horns on his head at the end of the movie. And he's basically a protector for the protector for Percy. And uh, they both go to the camp, and they meet all these other dem demigods, and. He, Percy meets this girl Annabeth uh, played by Alexandra Daddario and uh, both Percy Grover and Annabeth go to Mount Olympus uh, because the trainer of the camp uh, Chiron played by uh, Pierce Brosnan and uh, who has a uh, you know he's like a horse he has horse legs and a you know a horse body uh, tells he tells Percy to go there to claim his innocence to Zeus and to try to find the lightning bolt 
and so they go you know all across uh, you know the states to find these pearls and uh, but that's basically the whole plot to the movie uh, but you know I there was some scenes that I really liked I like the Las Vegas scene where the in the uh, the Latos flowers and they get all higher they they get all high and uh, you know they stay there for five days uh, because these lactose flowers uh, make you stay at the uh, the casino that they were in. And then you had uh, the scene where Uma Thurman plays Medusa, uh, which, if you look into her eyes, uh, she turns uh, people into uh, stone, uh, which that was pretty cool. I mean, she has CGI, like she had snakes on her head, which was all CGI. Uh, I do like uh, the scenes where Percy, uh, you know, uses the uh, the water, the water power, uh, which is really cool. Where you know you have the power of water, of water, and the uh, I like how he used it in the uh, final battle with him and uh, uh, with him and Luke, who is the uh, demigod son of Hermes. Hermes, I think that's how you pronounce the name, uh, who was played by Jake Apple. But you know, a lot of people really didn't like didn't like this because, like I said, it didn't follow it didn't follow much of the book. Like they got some things wrong. Like Grover is supposed to, from what I heard, Grover is supposed to be in the books, uh, you know, a white uh, guy. But you know, they chose you know they put a black guy for the uh, movie, which I have mine. I like I like Brandon T. Jackson in the movie. Uh, I think I think he was a funny, you know, a funny character that he played in the movie, uh, and also you have a. Uh, well, now that people complain is that they got uh, Annabeth wrong. Her hair she's supposed to be uh, you know like a white girl, but with uh, blonde hair, and uh, in this movie she's a brunette. So, uh, yeah, I didn't mind it because I never read. You know, like I said, I never read the book to it, but yeah, you know, I like I said, I just enjoyed the movie for what it was. It's not perfect, not great. Uh, the acting uh, was okay, was not terrible, but wasn't great though. But uh, but still, it's a fun movie if you haven't read the books though. Um, if you haven't read the books, uh, I would recommend it. It's you know, it's an okay fun movie uh, but just check it out if you check this movie out if you haven't read the books and so yeah so de give Percy Jackson and the Olympians the lightning thief a watch even if you uh, if you haven't read the book but if you have read the book uh, you'll probably be uh, disappointed in the movie uh, but so yeah, and I thought the CGI also uh, was really cool in the movie. I thought you know, CGI was really cool. Uh, so yeah. So anyways, that's it for my review of Percy Jackson and the Olympians: The Lightning Thief. Uh, thank you all for watching, and until the next video, which I'll probably see the sequel to it, Percy Jackson: Sea of Monsters. Uh, if I do see it, there will be a review on it. Uh, maybe, maybe not, but, you know, if I see it, but I uh, hope I do. And if I do see it, like I said, there will be a review on it. Uh, so, anyways, that's it for this video, and until the next video, which will be that review, maybe. I'll see you all later.